Hi all, this is Tim Olson's Evolution Software. In today's video demonstration, we're going to show how you can take a 2D image and convert it into a 3D model suitable for extrusions or projections into 3D parts. Some of the tools that we're going to demonstrate uh, will include taking an image and converting it into a height field, selecting all the facets in the same plane, splitting facets, uh, showing free edges, uh, projecting curves into a plane to make sure it's all planar, fairing a curve, smoothing it out, extruding a profile by a distance, uh, taking a profile and projecting and imprinting it into a surface or a solid, and then uh, setting face attributes such as color, and finally rendering our 3D model. I've imported a JPEG consisting of a black and white image of a horse. And what I'd like to do is convert this image into something I can work with in our CAD system for extrusions and projections into 3D objects. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, go to the Power Pack Mesh Height Map to Mesh Tool. And what this will do is it will map white and black and grayscale pixels into a height field. I have a height field set of one, and then I'm just going to pick my image and it'll convert it into a mesh. Show just that mesh. So what I would like to do next is select all the facets for the inset part. And I'll do that with the power pack, mesh, split by select. And then I'm going to right click so that I can get access to the select all facets in a plane. And then I'm just going to select one facet that is in the plane that I want to keep. Now I'm going to turn on only just that set of facets. Okay, next what we're going to do is I'd like to get the outline of this uh, horse. And I'm going to use the uh, Power Pack Mesh Show Free Edges tool to get that. And this will create a polyline of all the free edges, which in this case will be the border. And next I'm going to hide the, the mesh. I don't need that anymore. And if we zoom up, you'll see that this is very pixelated. And what we would like to do is, is smooth this. So let me show you what I would do to smooth this. First, let's go to the um, pen color attributes and let's change the uh, pen color attributes for this to black and a pixel width of one. The show free edges always does the thick red lines. And the next thing that I would like to do is since this uh, was originally facets converted from the bitmap. I'm going to project it all into a plane to make sure it's exactly in the x, y plane, z equals zero. And to do that, I will go to the project curve to plane tool. And uh, let's go to the x, y plane. We'll select the curve. And I'm gonna reference the origin. And now our, our polyline is precisely in that x, y plane. Now uh, we're going to address the pixelization of this polyline. This of course came from the original image which had a certain resolution to it. But with the uh, smooth curve tool, you can select a polyline or a curve and it will smooth out uh, any uh, uh, roughness in it. So let's go ahead and uh, pick the curve with the tool and I'll typically run perhaps four, ver four passes on a curve to smooth it. And we are getting quite a bit of it out now on a third pass. Let's go one more. Okay, so this is the resultant curve. You can see it's pretty smooth now, but it still kept the shape of the horse. And uh, with this, I can go now to the, like the extrude solid tool and select this and create a pretty smooth um, solid out of the original bitmap. Now let's do one more example. Uh, we're going to use that outline that we just created and we're going to project it onto a non-planar shape. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our uh, 3D object that we would like to project it onto, which is uh, an OBJ file and the first thing we're going to have to do is convert this OBJ file into a solid. 
Uh, and to do that, I am going to use the PowerPack uh, Subd to NURB tool. And uh, we can see we have two different objects, so I better uh, separate all my parts first from the OBJ file. And now we have two parts. And then we're going to go to the subdivision to NURB tool. And these are going to convert into a couple of solids. And we have a, a warning message for slivers. In this case, we're just going to tell it to ignore it. So we're going to no, no pre-validate. And we'll just convert this into a solid. And we'll convert this other part into a solid. All right, now let's go ahead and take our 2D profile and let's position it and size it for our, our heart pendant. And I'm going to bring this down smaller. That looks good. And then let's place it and turn on wireframe so we can see it. And then we'll need to place it above it because we're going to do a projection. And I'm going to have that part above it and project down onto it. OK, now I can get back into shaded mode. And it's still, let's make it a little bit smaller. And push it down a little bit more. There we go. Now we'll go to the Project Curve Surface tool. And the key to using this tool when you're imprinting it onto a body is to press down the option or control key so that it imprints onto the body and it creates separate faces. And I'll show you how you do that. Let's uh, hold down the option key in the case of the Mac, control key on the PC, and then select the uh, curves that we want to project, the body we want to project it onto, and then the projection direction. We're just going to go along the z-axis. And to actually see that on the model, Let's go back over and change our shade options to Fong with Edges. And now let's select just our solid and you see the imprint on it. Let's make it a little bit easier to see by changing the color of the imprinted faces to a different color. And to do that, I'm going to go to the Deep Select tool and I'll just pick my faces, hold down the Shift key Each pace that it crosses one of those boundaries is giving us a different face. And let's change that to let's change it to a blue. And now let's keep selecting. I think we got them. And uh, at this point, you may stop uh, with the model and uh, render it. Let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate a rendering using Keyshot. And I'm going to, because this part, this is a single part with different color attributes, I'm going to go click the uh, link part faces so that those different materials go across. And then we're going to go launch Keyshot with our file. And we're just going to create a quick rendering of it. All right, so here's our file in Keyshot. And uh, let's apply a couple colors, uh, materials to it. I like the metallic paint, so I am going to pick a kind of a goldish color on the outside. And then let's do a blue color on the inside. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope this was helpful in how to use PowerPack to convert 2D images into useful 3D models. 
For more information, come visit us at masterviacad.com or punchcad.com. Thank you.